Hey folks, welcome back to the Dice Tower Preview. I'm Mark. And I'm Anne. Today we're taking a look at Last One Standing. Last One Standing is a game for two to eight players, ages 10 and up, and it lasts about 10 minutes per player. Great. Well, let's gear up and get ready for the Battle Royale. In the year 2025, a new reality television event has seized international attention called Last One Standing. Participants from around the world compete for the title of world champion in this ultimate life or death battle. The competitors are parachuted onto an island where they will explore, loot, fight, and kill for their own survival. Anyone can play, but in the end, only one can remain. Will you be the last one standing? All right, for setup, you'll start by building the island. To do this, you'll set aside the A tile, shuffle the rest of them, and build the island out based on the number of players that are in the game. Right. You'll take one loot token and put it on every single spot that has a loot icon on the map. You'll take the game mat, set it aside, put the round marker and the phase marker at the beginning of their tracks, and the loot deck, shuffle those, set them on the loot deck spot, Shuffle the island explosion deck, put it in its corresponding spot, and the same thing with the supply drop deck. All right, so next everyone's gonna pick their character that they wanna play in the game. So take your matching player mat, yep. your standee. Everyone will start with 10 health on their health tracker and the corresponding weight marker. Now, throughout the game, how much weight and equipment you have is mm. going to determine the player order. Indeed. But at the very beginning, everyone starts with a crowbar, just the light weapon, and you'll roll the die to see what your starting weight is. To drop in on the island, you're going to flip over the cards from the supply drop deck, which have letters that correspond with the map. Now, when you're when you're dropping in on a tile, you cannot drop in on the water, on a wall, or on a loot crate. Right. But you'll pick any other open spot, and that's where your character will begin. All right. The game is divided into 10 rounds. If you survive 10 rounds. This is true, because this truly is a king of the hill, player elimination type game. Last one standing. Last one standing. <laughs> okay. And every round is divided into five phases. First up, we have the island event phase. Now this phase directly ties to what round it is. In the first round, nothing happens at all. But in subsequent rounds, there will be um, island explosions, which are really bad. There might be supply drops or might be both. So it de just depends on what round you're on. Yeah. All right, so how does the island explosion actually work? Well, in a previous round, you will have drawn the island explosion card and you will place in these explosion tokens next to the edge of the board that the, the card calls for. And then in that next round, those sections of that side of the island will be destroyed. And any player that's standing on them is out. They're out of the game. There is no coming back from that. Along with all of the loot as well. So if there's any loot left on that tile... Gone. Now the other option again that can happen during the island event is the supply drop. And basically supplies drop from the, from the sky and land on the tiles where the card indicates. All right, so after the island event mm -hmm. are the actions. And you're gonna have two opportunities to do actions, which means essentially everybody gets to do one action and then everyone gets to do a second action. Yep. And the order of this, like we said earlier, is determined by the weight. So whoever is carrying the least amount of weight will get to go first and then so forth. And that really is crucial. And yeah, it might be strategic maybe not, play. Right, it may not be early in the game as important, but later when big chunks of the island are gone and there's less loot to grab, this is a, an important thing to keep note of. Totally. And so you have three different choices of what you can do. The first option is to move. And moving, you can move up to five spaces on the map. And then if you end your turn on a loot spot, you are able to pick up all of that loot. So these are the crates that are out there from the beginning of the game, as well as those mega supply crates that get dropped from the sky right. with those cards during the island events earlier. Also, if a player dies, all of their equipment stays right on that <laughs> space where they died. So you can loot off of another player um, once they're out of the game. And that's a great way to pick up all of sorts stuff. of good stuff. Right. Yep. Um, with looting, you'll pick up the token, flip it over. It'll have a number on the mm -hmm. back, like a two or a three. That's how many cards you will draw. 
And at that point in time, if you have available space yep. for a light weapon, heavy weapon, a backpack, apparel, you can put it into play right away. If you don't have room, it'll go into your hand. Now, you do have a hand limit of five, right. unless you have a backpack that helps you carry yeah. more. These backpacks are pretty slick, because you can carry, yeah. I think it's eight, eight to ten cards. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah awesome. definitely. Um, and then anything else gets disc discarded at that point. Another possible player action is to shoot your weapon. And now, these weapons have so many different varying abilities, and some have secondary fire, and you just have to choose. And what happens is you take the weapon, you flip it over, and you check for line of sight, make sure no one's behind walls, and that they're within range, because there's two numbers. There's a range number and a number showing how much damage it does. Now, you really have to make sure that they can be seen. So if they're in a forest, then they're hard to see. And that means you have to also roll a dice to see if you can hit them. And you have to roll a three or higher, and then you actually succeed in your attack. Yep. There's also towers on the map. So yeah. if you can't shoot someone over a wall, but if you're in a tower, yep. you will be able to shoot them and you'll get in an extra your distance range. Yeah. your range. Yep. Another thing to note is that if you're the person being attacked or shot at, then if you have armor, this will be the time that you'll flip your armor over. Now, why are we flipping these things over, right? This is, a, this is the key. It basically shows that it's been used once and you can only use your items once per round unless the card says otherwise. But in general, most of the items are used once per round. Yep, so once you use your gun your or your weapon, your light or your heavy weapon, you'll flip it over and then that's it. And then on your next turn, if you wanted to use another weapon, you'd have to use the opposite one. Indeed. All right, and then your third choice for an action is to use a single-use item. Right. And these are awesome. They let you they do are. all sorts of random things. Yeah. For example, the energy drink lets you immediately perform two move actions, and you can loot both times. Which is, that's one of my favorites. It is so cool. For sure. And of course, you're going to need to heal up throughout this game. And so you have your first aid kit, yep. which lets you heal three. There's a mega first aid kit yes, that lets you heal five. Um, you have things like adrenaline where you can heal and then move. And of course you have grenades that either protect you or do damage to other they people. They have splash damage, which is pretty yeah. awesome. They hit multiple, it's pretty nice. And then the other thing, there's some items too that allow you to actually shoot and, and do those things together. Yes. So there's like armor piercing bullets that, oh, so I can use this with my shoot action. And then know. the person's armor is completely worthless. Yeah, it's pretty awesome actually. <laughs> Okay, so like we said, everyone is going to get two actions. Yep. That's the first part, everyone will do one action, and then after that, everyone will do a second action. Of course, once this is done, you're gonna to need to reload your guns yes. and rearrange all of your equipment. Indeed. So you can basically pick up anything, any of your armor or your equipment or your weapons that are right. out. Um, if you wanna swap out a weapon or swap out equipment, and this is important for changing the weight, possibly. Yes, absolutely. And you don't know what what weight everyone else is going to be right. at. You've kind of just got to decide what you want to do for this next uh, round of the game. And so once you have that decided, you know, they'll go out face down showing, indicating that they've been reloaded. Mm -hmm. If for some reason you had more than five cards in your hand or more than your backpack limit, you would have to discard those at that time. After that, you're going to do the weigh-in where everyone says how much gear they're carrying with them and you'll begin the next round with the island event. Now, a quick note on a lot of the different terrain. Like Anne said, there are towers that give you a better range for your weapons, but there's also water. And to go through these water tiles, you have to have scuba gear. You can't just move through them, which is really bad for late in the game if they're down to a couple tiles and you can't traverse the tile because yeah. there's water in the way. So, and same with walls. You can't just walk into a walled area. You need climbing gear to do that. And of course, then the forests are some protection because you're harder to hit. Yep, they're also harder to move through. So it takes two of your spaces that to right. kind of navigate through the forest. Okay, so yeah, this is a huge battle royale. And yep. as the island gets smaller, the closer you're gonna be to each other and the faster people are gonna get eliminated from the game. And really, ultimately, you're trying to be the last one standing. Yeah, it starts out, everyone's just trying to get some loot. No one's really shooting. Right. Then the island starts exploding. All the loot is gone. And you got to be that last one. You do. I really like those different phases in the game. It really starts to yeah. compress and you're like, oh my gosh, time is running out. All right, folks, once again, just a reminder, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form. 
so the artwork and rules still might be in flux. So keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes. Now, with that said, you know, this is a big, intense game, and I love the time pressure that goes on, you know? And I really, the thing I really like, though, is the different loot and how, no matter what character you've chosen, that you can really mix up how you play each time based on the loot that you've gotten. And it really changes yeah. up. It almost gives in a sense that you have different powers every time you play. Absolutely. And I'm not typically a theme person. I could take it or leave it. If you <laughs> know me at all, it's just not important. But theme I matters. love this theme. <laughs> yeah. um, I love the novel. I love the movie. So having this battle royale of a board game was really cool. I especially like that once you, once someone has died, whether the island kills them or yeah. someone else, whoever gets there first gets to loot all of their yeah. equipment. Um, I just thought that was really cool. It's really so. cool. Yeah. So if this looks like a game that would be of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. And I think that's it from us. And until next time, we'll, we'll see you at the table. table. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.